Sag, what up, though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Sagittarius. Wherever that resonates at for you. In your chart, keep in mind we all have a ninth house. Part of our birth chart and time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here and leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless, y'all. So whenever you do stumble across this message, there will be something here for you. To help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. Tapping into my sage energy today, I use this um, illuminated earth oracle deck along with this keepers of the light oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I'm tapping in with the energy. And <clears throat> very similar to the energy of Leo here where the first card to come through was this influence card. Um, these transits, y'all, this is a huge portal for the entire collective, so no surprise that that's showing up here as well. And it feels like the Sagittarian Collective dealing with some sort of shadow energy, some sort of pain, anguish, um, hurt from the past, or this may even be something you're currently experiencing um, or going through where there's this separation from a structure or a relationship or situation that's no longer serving you. There is a huge opportunity for a major release and an alignment with this new chapter with this clean slate. Bottom of the Keepers of the Light, we have Dwal Cool with dharma unfolding our dharma is our destiny it's our life path it's our soul's work this card says remember that you're on a path and take one step at a time to happiness i'm noticing we have the horus card under that cosmic gateway so here's that portal it says your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are occurring the cards that actually came out here in this keepers of the light we have bridged with inner strength very similar to the Leo strength card in the tarot. It says move back to wholeness and recognize that you have the power. And then we also have hope with love and acceptance and uh, Lord Krishna with devotion here. Krishna says, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally. And then we have the angel of hope here. Um, love is yours recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts so a lot of emphasis here on <clears throat> where our mental space is at what is our mind doing what's happening what's happening upstairs right keeping our thoughts um, positive keeping them um, kind of focused toward what it is we're creating at this time as we are in this in between um, it's very important to kind of let that wash away to let the slate be wiped clean and to um, regain that focus on this new story that we are writing so to speak so i'm going to pray real quick sag and we'll get into this message today big piscean energy on the bottom with the hanged man what did we learn what are we learning if it, okay i i like to say for the hanged man where you can think of it as like your soul your your higher self um choosing every situation every relationship every happening that you experience in order to grow and evolve as a soul the hanged man energy is about hanging upside down in this position in this situation in this relationship in order to gain a different perspective right if you notice he's upside down he's seeing things completely differently than he normally would if he's standing up and then he gets down off the tree with his enlightened mind his new um, state of consciousness his new um, view will say and moves forward from that space so it does feel like a major part of your soul's journey a major chapter is closing it's kind of what it feels like and there's very important um, lessons and activations unfolding and happening at this time so sun as i stop a lot of leo energy coming through which is the opposite of the opposite sign of aquarius where we do have all of these planets right now we have pluto at zero degrees aquarius mercury at seven degrees aquarius the moon at 17 degrees aquarius let me make sure that's right because i swear i thought yeah the moon's at 17 the sun's at 20 oh that's what i was thinking i was like i thought the moon was at like 20 tripping so we have a lot of um energies opposing that leo energy right now and i've been feeling this call for balance and stillness 
getting in touch with ourselves. So let's see what the message is today for Sagittarius. Holy Divine Mother and Father, Great Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for the Leo family for their highest good. Sagittarius family for their highest good all that talk about Leo some of there we got a Leo in here family um, messages for Sag for their highest good anything Sag needs to hear today anything they need to know any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation any messages see y'all about to get down off that tree double major so it has both versions um any messages that will bring Sag clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower them, any messages that will help Sag align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. And of course, above all, any messages that will help Sagittarius align with divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. Om. Amen. Ashe. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in the sun with the page of wands under that it really does feel like the tables are turning in your favor we're in the middle of this shift this realignment and things are going to start looking up in a big way all right what is the theme of sage's reading today please spirit lovers came didn't come out but it flipped over and upside down some of you may be dealing with a romantic relationship or a marriage going through some turbulence within that um, maybe some of you even going through a separation or being guided to leave a situation behind um, or even there's this healing or this past that's um, this past healing that's taking place within a relationship at this time tower on the bottom of the deck this may have this may be manifesting very intensely right tower moment things suddenly happening very intense happenings um, there's that Pluto energy, Pluto in Aquarius right now, just left Capricorn. So it's still kind of these structures um, breaking down in, in almost the ass end of that cycle, I guess you could say, still playing out. So what do we have at the heart of the situation here? It really feels like you're kind of shifting into this energy where you will be building a new life. What do we have at the heart of the situation for Sag? Thanks, Spirit. You guys, a lot of energies wanting to come through. We have Eight of Pence. We have um, Libra energy with the Empress. We have Gemini energy with the Magician. Damn, Five of Swords, Two of Cups. So, so, so some of you are dealing with some type of betrayal or some type of breakup or something that happened here within a relationship. If it's not romantic, this relationship's definitely something very close to your heart. Two of Cups came out in reverse, just like that lovers did. So there's some type of relationship turbulence or shadow that you're facing when it comes to that right now. For some of you, maybe there was a third party involved or dealing with somebody like that. And what I feel like ultimately is that you're at a very important point in your spiritual journey here and you're growing a lot. It does feel like we're being presented with an opportunity to really create um, new, this new life, this for some of you, a new business. Um, this is you creating your empire here, Sagittarius, and working through um, some shadow energies as well. So what's the challenge? Yeah, for some of you, it's a past person or it's like a family situation or something that you're dealing with a younger sibling or maybe this person's younger than you. There's some type of blockage being removed, some type of karmic blockage that is being removed. And I feel I do feel like there's a decision that um, is being called to be made at this time for Sagittarius. What will it be? Are we going this way or are we going that way? Are we going to say this or are we going to say that? Are we going to go or are we going to stay? Tower coming through as the root cause strength so it does feel like there is some type of structure that is it's either crumbled already or it's been broken down already or this is what we're in the midst of and this is a karmic alignment it does feel like there was some type of karmic situation that you're dealing with whether it was family or romantic or even a work relationship or something like that it's going to be different for everyone but it is some type of contract that um, is being fulfilled or has been fulfilled um, in order to help you grow and um, gain this deeper level of wisdom. 
also step into your power and your strength, your your most authentic self. So these situations, as, as hard as they can be, are very activating for us. And one of the ways that our souls come to grow is through relationships, right? Our relationships are our yoga. So what do we have incoming for Sagittarius? Damn, you guys. Death, moon, ten of swords, world. There is an ending here. And I'm seeing this moon be kind of you overcoming this shadow and learning so much from it. I feel like Sagittarius is taking their, is stepping into their power to some degree. By So some of you are being called to speak a truth. Some of you are being called to take an action or move in a certain direction to make a decision. Uh, regardless of how it resonates, I feel like there's an ending here. Even if you've already been through the ending, this is the, the, the real ending, the energetic ending where we release, we, we feel it, um, we accept it, we forgive it. And we close the door, however that looks with the world, right? The world, the moon. The moon is all about phases and cycles, and the world's all about phases and cycles. The world and the moon together with the just, justice, it's definitely some type of karmic cycle. We have aqua energy, Aquarian energy with the star on the bottom. This is um, not only healing for your soul or kind of catalyzing this healing for your soul but it's also an opportunity to align with your real your ten of pentacles here and i do see you focused on that working on that the whole collective has been getting ten of cups ten of pentacles it's no different for you here ten of wands so but we have to move on in order to get into that you know new we can't we can't write a new book with old pages right what else is incoming besides, aside from this ending for Sag, what else is incoming? Devil, you guys. You're free, nine of swords. So there's a lot of anxiety, fear, or stress, maybe even sleepless nights, really. Nine of swords, four of swords in reverse. There's some sleepless nights about this devil energy. Whatever it is, I feel like some of y'all are really fighting demons. Seven of seven of wands, Mars and Leo. A lot of Leo and Aquarius energy coming through here. Maybe some of you guys have prominent Leo or Aqua placements, eleventh house, fifth house placements. You guys, this is truly an opportunity to hold your own, to stand up for yourself, to stand up for what you believe in, to fight for what you believe in. Um, the Seven of Wands is all about drawing that line in the sand and holding your ground. If you see on the card, he's got six other wands pointing up, boom, 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 trying to poke at him. And he's up there, king of the hill. Beat, 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 <laughs> right? And so I see you, and it's really, this is also a message from the divine saying, hey, Sag, you have the upper ground here. So, so find your center, root down and, and defend defend your position so to speak um so very very much again this feeling of kind of stepping into your power or taking your power back and looking forward it's like you're truly turning fully away from the past and you are focused on this new opportunity you're like okay what's next where are we going what are we doing what are we creating here's this opportunity here that it has a lot of potential to be very fulfilling um how are we going to utilize this so let's grab some advice for sag Lots of very intense energy out here, you guys. Saturn and Pluto show up in the reading. That's what it is, right? It's karmic. It's intense. It's very much in your face. It, it feels like it, it takes over, right? It can it can consume us if we let it. Um, so make sure you're you're focusing on your breath. You're staying on your yoga, your breath work, your prayer, or whatever. However, you stay grounded, centered. Get out in nature. Um, make sure you're connecting with nature, family, and make sure you're connecting with yourself, your heart, your awareness. What is the advice here for Sag? Star. Damn, Star, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. What is that? Six of Pence. Nine of Pence. This is literally, it's about putting energy into laser focusing 
on your blessings and your wish fulfillment right now. Six of Pence, pulling energy toward these family members, these friends, these people, these coworkers. You're pulling your energy from all of that. Now you have all of your energy here and you are laser focusing that energy, your precious sacred energy on your star, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the harvest. It's when all of the hard work pays off. It's when the blessings start rolling in. The star is the wish fulfillment. The star is the deep soul healing. So this is where you're focusing on your healing, your growth, your wishes, your dreams. And anybody that's draining you, anybody that's taking, 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 not giving anything in return, you're like, you know, I'm done with it here. I'm taking this cup. I'm taking this opportunity. You had the Ace of Cups, Ace of um, Pence out here, you guys. This is a very tangible, real opportunity. And I could be tripping, actually. Let me see. I don't even know if we did have the Ace of Pence out here. So apologize if um, that didn't come out. This feels like it's almost meshing with Leo's reading. So some of you may want to um, dive into Leo's reading as well if you have Leo placements. Ultimately, though, here we are, full clean slate. This is exactly what we've been talking about. If you see the fool, he's looking straight up, um, metaphorically, symbolically, eyes on the divine that still small voice within you. And we have to come into that stillness, right? If we're stressing, if we're fearing, if we're having sleepless nights, if we're overanalyzing and overthinking, spirit cannot come through. That mind, that chatter internally blocks that still small voice out. It over, it, it swallows it up, right? So there's overall for the whole collective right now, there is a call for silence. I know our egos a lot of times hear that and I can feel I can feel the ego just wanting to be like, I don't need to be silent. I need to do this and I need to do that. And this is what it is. And this person did me like this. No, but that's an illusion. That is our programming just running rampant, dragging us through the mud. Family, there's a call for inner stillness here. Um, there's a call for seeing things from a different point of view and really, really laser focusing your energy on your happiness. Um, regardless of the strife, the chaos, the BS that you're going through right now, this is your time. Eight and nine of cups, release and you shall receive. You're walking away from some of you relationships that you have had years put into, eight years, eight months. Um, eight lifetimes for some of you it's not relationships for some of you it's a job or something that's truly taking your peace and you're leaving that away in order to create the life that you want and these seeds have been planted within your soul before you ever incarnated Sagittarius so again it's really about going into the stillness so we can connect with those energies so we can hear that voice of spirit you guys this is a huge message Sagittarius um, very intense. I mean, I can feel this physically, energetically. So again, I just want to say, spend some time out in nature. Um, check out the Wim Hof method if you have never. And even if you have, you know, I do that shit multiple times a day. Um, stick with it. It'll change your life beyond what I can put into words. You guys, magician, empress at the heart of your situation, doing what's best for you creating your empire, creating your dreams, um, and your abundance, your legacy. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of where the entire collective is at right now, y'all. So let's get it. What do we have here for Sag? Sky dancers, surrender, magician sword, confidence in your magic, spirit of the river, movement toward adventure. And then we have that star, nine of cups, nine of pence, energy preparations come to fruition. This is the net caster. This is spirit's way of saying, stop praying for your manifestations. The opportunity is here. Cast your net and you know, the portal isn't going to stay open forever. So there's something about going for it. There's something about an opportunity being here and it's, and it's going to pass eventually. This is really about throwing your net and, and for Sag, it feels mostly like holding your focus and releasing anything that's kind of just taking up space or, or, you know, causing turbulence or chaos. We're going to read sky dancers though. 48 surrender. 
liberation from attachment and surrender when a sky dancer appears she's inviting you to welcome the deepest power of the feminine into your life you've already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion now is the time to invite the sacred feminine the wisdom within your heart no matter your gender to guide you to success if you've become earthbound plotting and planning and praying for change cease and desist break the habit of being yourself of repeating the same behavior and hoping for a different outcome stop trying to figure it all out and stop overthinking it surrender the sky dancers are heralding the arrival of a new relationship with yourself in your work or in your love life do not assume that this person or opportunity will rescue you the only way to liberation is to kiss the ground goodbye and take flight to rise above the fray and the drama of the struggling arguing mind dance in the sky and view the madness below by simply witnessing the actors in the human comedy unfolding on the ground you're transforming it as you observe the drama you unleash the power of the sacred feminine that allows for resolution the sky dancers know the maps of heaven in the way to the holiest and most sacred spaces on earth they come to help you with your current life and even more important to guide you to the realization of your own divinity sagittarius gang Soak this energy in and drop it down in the comments below what this says to you. What do you see, sense, hear, feel? What emotions um, arise as you connect with this energy? Your guys' downloads have been amazing um, and it's been really dope reading them. So feel free to do that. Pause, this, pause the video if you need to. You guys, Magician, Ace of Swords, though, you got both cards out here in your reading. Um, Ace of Swords to the star, very similar energy. Stay focused on what it is we're creating, family, and use that sword, use that clarity, that focus um, to cut those lines, to cut those lines that are holding you back. So what's the message for Sag? meditate and contemplate you guys you got both new and full moon in pisces spirit say sag go sit your ass down <laughs> go sit your ass down sagittarius balance spirituality and practicality and meditate and contemplate take time to breathe out all three of those messages back to back to back and then let's not forget and i think i said this in the beginning of your reading but we're about to have a major pisces stellium all that Pisces energy coming through here, that's going to be very significant. Pisces is the very last sign of the Zodiac family. We're moving into Pisces season. Um, the real new year, right? When it, when it switches from Pisces to Aries, the new year, the new start. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. The calendar new year is not necessarily energetically um, a shift kind of like the normal new year, which would be Pisces to Aries season. So there's something significant about that. Uh, it feels like just simply, it feels like a major ending. So let's read one of these white light Oracle cards and then we'll grab a message from Ma as well before we tap out. It's a message for Sag. Pearl of Shadow. Shadow. Spirit Owl of 852 Hertz on the bottom. If anybody wants to or feels guided to connect with 852 Hertz, feel free. This is number 35. We're going to read this. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You're going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening, for you are a precious being and you can go far on the spiritual path during this lifetime and you are you are the sage the teacher the guru the wise one shadow is a tibetan word meaning to arise or manifest and shine with radiant spiritual light Sharo is the outcome of sacred alchemy it's the manifestation of the pearl beyond price created in the depths of the ocean, hidden away in a clamshell, away from prying eyes. This pearl symbolizes a beautiful blessing of unexpected grace. It began 
when an irritant caused the formation of a luminescent coating, the healing response to that initial intrusion resulted in an organic creation of intestimable, inestimable beauty, value, and uniqueness. So this pearl can be a sacred catalyst to arise spiritually, manifesting one's own principal, priceless soul pearl. We are required to respond to an initially unwanted situation in such a way that our soul light and power is increased as a result. This soul alchemy evokes the inner pearl of radiant being. Such spiritual wisdom cannot be bought or sold, controlled, nor exploited. It's perfect, nourishing grace, always free and radiant with light. It is the inspirational triumph of creativity and healing in the inner work of self-transformation we take that which appears negative and utilize it to increase our goodness however we need to take care not to attribute the negativities to divine will <clears throat> that are actually caused by humans human beings have free will without it there could be no growth only a following of rules. For the soul, life is something like a multidimensional art class. It's allowed to create with absolute freedom, with the understanding that it will be responsible for its creations. <clears throat> that opens up a path for truly beautiful and blessed offerings to the collective. It also opens up the path to expressions of free will that create suffering. Whether our choices create liberation or enslavement to pain or enslavement to pain is the responsibility of human human beings whether our choices create liberation or enslavement to pain is the responsibility of human beings this body has been given to us that we may learn and grow spiritually we are all in that process varying in our capacities and awareness but ultimately progressing together if some members of our human family are in such pain that they can only create further pain that is their choice as a group we work to heal the causes of pain the causes of that pain to free them and the rest of us from such a tragic use of free will when rare and precious members of our human family develop such luminous awareness that exuding light they call us into greater peace and happiness then those of us who are able to receive and share what they offer do so for the benefit of all <clears throat> From a deeply pained place of confusion, some souls cry out in anger toward the divine, wondering why there's disease and suffering and cruelty on the planet. We need to understand the difference between taking an ego-created situation and working with it so that it can become divine and believing the ego-created situation was divine to begin with. <clears throat> Spirit does not wish you or any creature to become sick or to suffer. It is infinite resourcefulness and love with full respect for your free will which enables you to grow according to your own pace and purpose spirit will provide path after path of healing resolution it's up to us when or if we answer the call this oracle has emerged in your reading because you have the capacity to become a light bearer safeguard your energy yet trust that the light within is strong enough to see you through any struggle and eventually transform it into a precious pearl of sacred empowerment you have wisdom in your divinely alchemical heart, and you shall arise with dignity. So the healing process for this is pretty short. I'm going to read it really quick in case anybody wants to tap in with that. It says, place one hand on your heart. Feel your connection to yourself in this present moment. And when you're ready, say the following aloud. I assume full responsibility for myself and my life path. I call upon the enlightened heart of the universe to assist me to manifest my divine potential through grace, mercy, and love for the greatest spiritual benefit of all beings. Sense the wisdom and power of your heart. It has the ability to guide you from within and to receive infinite wisdom and healing energies from the universe. Sense that although you walk your own path, you're not alone. Finish the process by again connecting your hand to your heart and feeling what it would be like for you to only make choices that resonated with your heart. You have completed this healing process. Sagittarius. There's a feeling like, when are we going to get there? You're almost there, family. Let's grab a message from Ma before we dip. Yep, slowing it down. Slowing it down, taking a breath. What's the message for Sag? Ma. Por favor. 
A predestined series of events is due to occur according to divine timing. This has been orchestrated at a higher level to integrate the paths of people with whom you have soul contracts in this lifetime. Trust in the doors that close just as much as the doors that open for you as a result. And we have Durga Kalika as well. In unusually challenging situations, the ways that we have supported ourselves during more ordinary times are insufficient. We need to be open to divine inspiration, protection, and proceeding in new ways. Here is a portent of unexpected success. Even if everything appears to be going against you, the tide shall turn through divine grace. My beautiful sages, that's the message I have for you today. Um, I know it was a message. It was a message. I hope um, you were able to take something from this. I hope it helped in some capacity. Sagittarius, I hope it resonated. Um, before we tap out fully, y'all already know we're going to take our deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our intention, and our visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy, this prana. Picture it as white or gold light filling up your body, filling up your aura. Um, breathe in as deep as you can. Pause at the top of the breath body full of prana full of air imagine yourself glowing as bright as you possibly can and then as we release we're going to exhale very forcefully watching any negativity any anger any sadness any doubt any fear any blockages any lower frequencies regardless of what they may be we're going to picture all of that in the form of black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this wisdom and light love understanding so first things first Sagittarius take a deep full breath out clean clear empty your lungs fully and then we'll get this breath in go ahead and breathe out now breathe in Hold it, squeeze, Mula Bandha, lift up, up your spine. Now pull that energy down, lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter. And release. Sag, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you again for being in this space with us, and I will catch you, you beautiful beings, on the next reading.